Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Um, and it's been a while since I've played. Um, as most of you probably know, I've been away for like three weeks of working and traveling and not being able to kind of play any games and record any episodes. And so I did a kind of bulk uh, record before I left and kind of slowly, slowly fed that through to you guys. So today is the first time I'm playing in a while and I've just had a look. It seems to be um, there's a there's a new kind of a version. Alpha 30 has come out, or maybe even further than that, 30.1 or something. But uh, so there's some new music, which of course I am uh, listening to. Um, I've, I've turned that all the way down, so I don't want to disturb with uh, with that kind of music playing all the time. But the cool thing, and I'm not even sure what all the new stuff is. I'm just having a look to see what's going on in the airport everywhere. There's a lot of workers hanging around probably overpaying um, and then there is this screen the flights process monitor so that just gives you an awesome snapshot of what's going on with your flights so it's departing passengers arriving passengers what the status is the gate it's going to um, what a time it's supposed to land um, you do get a status of what time it has landed so you can see yeah there's a little bit early over there the turnaround time which is pretty cool Okay, so the, I think over here, before they start counting, um, you've got a scheduled turnaround, and then you start seeing actual turnarounds over here. And then as it gets closer, you see, oh, oh, oh there's, ah, oh, and they're gone. As it gets closer, you see, ooh, you're getting a little bit close to where it's supposed to be, but it should be fine because all of that is done. What you then check is how many of the passengers have actually arrived at the airport, and I can see all of our flight's passengers have arrived. How many have actually checked in? So you can see, oh, there's a bit of a problem there. We should probably should get these people to check in a little bit quicker. <laughs> but as long as that <clears throat> is something. So what we can see from this is that we've got for the foreseeable future in terms of flights, we've got sufficient room. Oh, there you go. Delayed flight, 10 minutes uh, because we're waiting for bags. Okay, so I'll, I'll go through this. So, so how many people have arrived at the airport? So we can see that arriving at our airport is not a problem. Then our check-in check capacity seems to be okay because it doesn't really run into the orange. This isn't a problem yet because it's just so far ahead. Oh, there it's running into the orange. So maybe our check-in capacity is starting to be a little problematic. This guy should have arrived already. So there's some issues there. But really, so I'm not too worried about that. Then the next thing, clearing security. These guys should have cleared security by now. They have not. Um, these guys are busy, so clearly we could do a, with a little bit improved security. Don't quite know why this isn't going orange yet, because in my mind these should also be, if, but maybe it's just because they don't even have someone in there yet. The fact that these are filling into orange means that security could be better. Then, deboarding. How quickly are we getting people off of the plane? So it seems to be pretty good for those flights that actually get in uh, all of these are green I'm guessing this flight has not yet yeah there it goes land gets off that getting off is pretty good boarding is the other question then I think and this is a knock-on effect from getting through security where the boarding is working okay um, and then we get to our actual operation service round so they so slow service round on that one um, uh, unloading luggage, loading luggage and refueling and I constantly find myself with planes um, needing luggage to be loaded a little quicker. So this is a boarding, was a boarding issue but should be taxing and getting out now. So now we can have a quick snapshot of what's going on with all our planes to see where the troubles lie and I think this is a massive improvement to the game. In the sense that now it's a very easy snapshot to see where where the problems lie boarding is occurring over here and it's well close enough fine now taxing out of the way small plane small planes this one um these 42s go to uh, go to the gate 41 passengers already loaded the luggage so not a problem there so we're actually getting ahead so passengers are now becoming our biggest thing but i think we are at the moment operating well and on time, so no real problems over there. So here we can see, um, uh, in the last episode we opened up the new runway and I had to tweak which kind of planes can land in there, but it is pretty cool. We've got the larger planes running using it all the way to the end and the smaller ones just dropping off straight over here. Still all in pretty good shape, I can use a bit of a repair over there. 
Okay, so that is our airport now operating at a reasonable um, efficiency. I am still worried that what we're seeing over here is not that reasonable in terms of efficiency because why are there so many people constantly waiting for their bags? So I am a little worried that the baggage handling system is not up to what it should be up to. Oh, these are just people going through. And this is the this is another problem that I kind of perceive here. What is this? Build a queue. I have a queue. Uh, why why would why would there be no one here going through this one? So there's some it's there feels feels like there's some kind of bug over here. So what I'll probably do is I'll start opening up some stuff on this side. So let me get um, let me just toggle the employees off and what I'll do is I'll start building a bit of a queue um, for this guy right over here and we'll open it up on this side uh, so something like that perfect and then what we'll do is we'll open this guy up and we'll hopefully see some employees arrive here pretty soon yeah on their way already I do have a surplus of security personnel and hopefully we can get um, a little bit more people through security a little quicker. And I have tons of checkout, uh, check-in uh, check desks ready and available. Um, and I don't quite know what these people are doing. They're waiting for their requirements fulfilled. Oh, so in order for it to function. So what does this mean? Flight from status and time left is 29 minutes is that before it comes i don't quite know so you are on a certain flight and you are waiting for waiting for your luggage i would presume make sure there's enough shopping opportunities at the airport so we will need to have a look at that kind of thing but what are these people doing are they waiting for luggage what what is it that they're like i don't i don't quite get what they're trying to do So I, I, yeah, so it's just not quite clear to me. It looks like they're waiting for luggage. So those are bag tags or something. But I can't even see what flights they're on. Okay, so here we have some flights and we're waiting for luggage to come in. Um, and the question is, are they still on the route this way? This is to be loaded, right? Yeah. So this is going out to the planes. There you go. You've got your luggage. Wow, that's an interesting maneuver. I don't mind it. Okay. So the question to me is, do we actually have enough ramp agents? Um, because now everybody's loading and we're not actually getting new bags. So this area is getting pretty full. If I look back at our operations, see, we've got some issues over here, I think. Um, and so if I go, I'll pause it just for the second, just to make sure if we go to our operations, to vehicles, what is it saying? See, we've got a, a, a shortage of three service trucks. Um, so what I'll do is let's just make sure we'll purchase some more. Procurement service trucks. I'll do an extra five actually, order now. And then hopefully that means we can get a little bit more going on over here. Why is this being an issue? Unblock the nodes, guys. Unblock the nodes. Honestly. Honestly, you can't be... You can't... You can't tell me that this is the way you're operating this. Too slow, man. Clear this. Okay, now... Okay, let's uh, up the number of ramp agents per side on that one. Okay, so now it's three per side, so hopefully that'll help us a little bit. If we go back to our operations and to our staff levels, um, we could do another airport staff, another, I don't know, janitors maybe. Okay, well, let's, let's hire a few more people. I do want to hire a few more people. Let's get ourselves... Not sure we need more security, but what I'll do is I'll get a full set of ramp agents. 
I'll add like two or three or four or five janitors and airport staff. Um, let's get like four of them. I'd rather have extra. Lots of luggage coming in. Are we getting the luggage out quick enough? Is the question. What? What are the? What are you guys doing? Driving around like I don't know. Is our refueling doing a decent job? Can we speed things up a little? I just want to make sure we. Okay, let's do a round of repairs over here. I'm deeply into the operations now, hoping to get all the operations to work quite well. That's the plan. Security is certainly working a breeze. People aren't struggling to get through security. I don't see any real problems with check-in. If we go over here, we can see some orange over here with the loading of bags. A little bit through security here. Some passenger is missing getting through security, but I'm not too worried about that. The plane isn't even, even boarding yet. So I'm not sure where that passenger is, by the way. It means it's probably, it's probably a missing passenger here. With that uh, on time, can I see this? Okay, so this is the one. Anyway, someone is probably getting through security. You're going to be late, buddy. That's a red. You're waiting to get on. So we're missing a passenger. We're literally missing a passenger over here. Oh, he's there. My goodness. That went very quickly. Yeah, you see, there's a lot of stuff here that's a little bit problematic in terms of the loading. But we are just about, wow, running clear on some of these things. That's loaded, that's loaded. Everything does seem to be working Okay, now this guy is still waiting on refueling. So it does make me wonder sometimes. Now we've got a late flight over here, and I couldn't quite get what was the reason for late, for being late over here. These are all fine. Okay, so the next one out. So these should be out. Pushback board. board. Why are you still boarding? Are you waiting for pushback trucks? So if I pause it now and we have a quick look at our operations towards our vehicles, do we have a shortage of pushback trucks? No, we've got plenty of pushback trucks. We've got plenty of all kinds of vehicles. The jobs aren't even claimed. So I do not quite get why some of these things are happening. Is it an operational issue inside the airport? No, no, but it is working pretty well. So what I'm going to do now, um, we spent a fair, fair bit of time just recapping what's happening with the with the airport, and I do wonder whether all of this is actually working. I'm tempted. I'm extremely tempted to remove the weather station over here, place it somewhere else, uh, or actually I'll do a little turnaround over here, so everybody doesn't have to come and turn around over there. Let's do that. Let's get ourselves a bit of a service road, I believe. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. What we'll do... We'll do a little bit... Like this, in the hope that that's a pretty decent kind of turnaround facility. We could also do another... Another one, one or two of these... Um, yeah, I hope that helps us, helps us out as a little bit of a push uh, turnaround so they don't come and turn around here all the time. That might unclog things a little bit. Um, I'm seeing less bags around for the sakes of ba sake of bags just being around. I'm seeing way too much of this kind of clashes, conflicts going on. But everything else does seem to, there's not, there are a bit of a pile, there is a bit of a pile up going on. But maybe not that much. There's a massive pileup of people though. And that makes me uncomfortable. So what are they complaining about? I'm assuming it's some place to eat and drink. Actually, we should be looking into that, to be honest. 
everything does now is now working how much fuel do we have we're out of fuel Need, oh, is the fuel coming in why can't why just request the extra fuel please something's funny did they do something different with this Okay, let's build a few extra depots. That's what I'm gonna do because things are getting a bit crazy now. So let's go here, get some vehicle depots. I could add more, but I'd rather just do some more vehicle depots over here. So a little something like that and what we'll do is we'll get some extra service road over here sorry some extra service come on and just run that through there so we've got some turnarounds and stuff going on over here so and then hopefully we'll start moving some of these vehicles to the depots I don't quite get why this is becoming a problem oh that actually did get some fuel okay hopefully that is sorted out now then what are you doing? Are you gonna fill us up? You are indeed. Okay, so stuff is now is now starting to work again. Okay, perfect. Um, some baggage build up over here. People moving through. Don't quite know. Don't get why it's taking so long. Okay, and then we need some food and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is get us some food franchises and stuff up here. Up in here. Okay, let's have a look. What do we have here? We've got a food room. Then we've got food counters, display fridges, a cashier, and counter. And this is a modular sofa. Uh, okay, well, let's have a look. So if we, if we get ourselves a pretty decent food room, something like, let's do... Let's do something like that, okay? So we'll get ourselves a bit of a food room over there. Question is, do we then need a kitchen? So display fridges. So do we know what is required in here? Oh, we need to sign a contract as well. Uh, ooh, no, 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 cancel that. Let's see, if we sign a contract, what kind of a contract, come on, what kind of a contract can we sign? What is the requirement? So we need a cafe fridge, cafe counter, so maybe we should get rid of this one and then start small. Um, start small. Uh, so what kind of size? 41... 420 square meters in this one. This is 420 square meters. So this is exactly right. Okay, well then that's fine. So let's get ourselves... And So what do you need? You need a fridge and a cafe counter. So let's get you a fridge. Display fridge. It's tiny. Is that the only one you've got? Can we rotate that? I have no idea how that works. But, okay, well, let's get ourselves... Uh, well, how are we going to do it? Shall we just... Okay, let's start with a counter. Cashier counter, low... Uh, let's just do. Let's just do something small. Don't actually know how that works. Uh, I think it's like this. So if we place that one over there, and we'll just do this one over here. Maybe we'll do two of them. Okay. And then what we'll do is we will place ourselves some a food counter do that and see what that does countertop of front cafe or bar area within okay let's do that now let's get some tables in here what is this tables okay well let's um, let's get a couple of these in there uh, let's get some of these chairs 
Oh, that's the modular sofa, is it? Uh, well, let's just get the standard stuff here. Do something like that, then let's get some basic chairs in place. Okay. And now, okay, now what we need to do is we need to get that, that contract. So let's get that contract, Crane's Burgers, we'll sign it up. And uh, hopefully that means this will open up. I'm, I'm hoping they're going to open it up and we're going to see people a little happier with that. Our security is not a problem. What's happening over here? Any big problems? Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Just people getting, getting people through to board is the issue at the moment. And it's not really an issue. We are probably cutting it maybe a little closer than we should be cutting it. But actually things are actually well and truly on time now that's not as green as it used to be but anyway is this thing open oh it's open okay it needs to do a thousand two hundred in sales and i believe it will over the long run nice people are having a seat coming to grab a meal hopefully they'll do enough business so that um, they'll continue to renew their contract. I'm hoping that is the case. Well, what I'll do is let's just grab a few extra seats. No, not that one. Let's get this one. Get another kind of little table over here somewhere. And we'll grab a few of these. Um, seats like that. Get ourselves some uh, we'll get ourselves some more uh, these round tables over there and over there. Hopefully that does the trick. Well that's getting pretty busy. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just add an extra counter here. Two of them. Hopefully that does help the things out a little bit. I want this to be quite effective actually. are having a seat enjoying themselves now there's no queue hopefully we'll do it seems like we've there's a good chance we're gonna hopefully they'll bring in another worker over here it would be quite useful if they do can we hire these workers or not i don't think we can nice things are looking good things are looking good let's have a quick look at this again yeah that's pretty good that is pretty good. You should actually be boarding now, shouldn't you? Excellent. But there's only six people, so six people is pretty good. All of this green, I'm loving all of this green. That is a little bit of a worry, as per usual. But I'm loving the fact that we are loading or fueling our planes pretty decently. What went wrong? Pushback. Do we have a shortage of pushbacks? I don't know. We shouldn't. We shouldn't have a shortage. Maybe. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Oh, these guys are just parking. Yeah, okay, fine. Hopefully this whole thing is making things a little easier on traffic. It does look like it's helping a little bit over here. Uh, we still have a pretty big build-up going on. People waiting? Yeah, I think more than usual it seems. And this? Oh, it's got enough people working here now for our sales to go go well, I'm hoping. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm hoping it'll do it. I think it will. Okay, now let's do um, the little shop next to it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shop room. 
pretty much the same size as that okay and now if we get that traveler shop what is that gonna do in terms of size it is actually just doing the right amount uh, oh it doesn't need to be oh, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting all confused let's um, let's make it a little smaller then they're only requiring 200 so let's just do something like that and then let's see 240 oh, perfect so we'll do how much do you want to sell though maybe I'll just go with fly go and you're gonna need eight shelves and a cashier's desk okay so let's go here let's get our cashier desks in place uh, and what I'll do is I'm gonna go with two of them one two like that and we'll do some The big ones and then we'll do some smaller ones um, like over here one two three and uh, we'll have one small one oh that's actually not what I wanted is that is there something else we can do then uh, we'll just place like two of them over there Perfect, so that'll be a pretty decent one and we'll open up one of those stores. Hopefully that helps us out. That looks like it's pretty decent condition for us to get the guys in here. Pretty open plan, no walls in between stuff. Get those built. So I can uh, sign this contract with Flygo. Four days for see that's a that's a pretty substantial one. I'm hoping we can get this one fulfilled. Not too much. This one is in place now. Oh, now it's the other way around. That's interesting. Not too big fan of that. We'll see how that goes. It's working at the moment. I just wonder if we're going to get all those sales. The food at least seems that it's going to be easy for the food to, to do its thing. We'll keep an eye on that. Everything else, there is a buildup of luggage that needs to be collected. All the planes, all of this. Ooh, we've got a delayed flight because of boarding issues. Okay. Ooh, I'm not a fan of all of this... Um, we're having late arrivals. We're actually getting a few late arrivals in here. Landed only barely. Only barely. Okay, so is our operation sufficient or is something wrong here? Should have enough of all kinds of staff. Let's have a quick look again at our operations at our staffing levels. Says it's all great. does not seem to worry too much about any of this okay so all of that seems to be working chicken is happening well um, that's going well this is going well this is probably much slower than it should be so I'm not sure how that's gonna work I'm hoping everybody is a little happier. Oops, if I go and look at the dashboard. What is our satisfaction rating? Passengers, pretty good. Airlines, pretty good. General aviation, well, that's not really an issue at the moment. Okay, good. The other thing that I did see dif different is the way data is presented. I don't believe this was the case. So here we have arriving air uh, aircraft, aircraft at the airport and then departing air aircraft so we you can see we we have arrival and departure this this is this is a problem too many aircraft at the airport becomes a big problem for everything all of these things i'm wondering about how maintenance actually works on this seems everything is up and running okay I think that's where I'm going to end the episode. 
and what we'll do in the next one is we'll look into another set of expansions going on over here so we'll expand the terminal building over here we'll add the extra gates on this side uh, i'm going to leave that runway in there for now but we'll see about how we how we continue to do do this everything does seem to be working quite well i might not extend this playthrough too much further but i do want to have everything up and running and operating quite well not sure the shops will ever do that trick but the, the certainly the, the the cafe is doing this job but yeah i think an extra set of maybe four gates over here would be a good idea um for for us and see we, we do have the capacity over here to accommodate at least four more gates quite easily i am a little worried about the baggage handling system in the sense that it doesn't seem I can run them to multiple ones the baggage bays it's only one of these per baggage bay so we'll see so we'll have to open up potentially an extra baggage bay over here for an extra few okay well that's something we will start looking at in the next episode okay if you've liked it hit that button and thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye bye